Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Chanel LV. Today's video, I would like to do a comparison between these two vanity cases. If you will look at the website, there are so many fabrications, different sizes, different pricing. It's so confusing. I got so excited though, because there are options. You just have to pick the right one for you. The first time I saw this, it caught my attention because of the price. How can you beat this price for SLG? Even the wallet itself is like 1100 and up. Let's do the comparison between this mini vanity case and the small vanity case. As far as the size, the length is 4.3 inches this is 6.6 .6 inches height is 3.3 .3 inches 3.7 inches and the width 3.1 inches and 2.7 inches that's the difference of the width And the length and the height just a tad difference the biggest difference is the length that's why the mini wouldn't fit a phone. My iPhone XR is 6 inches long. And this is 6.6 .6 .6 inches. That's why it fits. I know when I purchased this that the phone wouldn't fit. But I thought it's a precious little piece that I can keep forever. We talk about the size. The next one is the price. This retails for $1,350 and the small one is $1,550. There is $200 difference. Do you think it's worth it? $200 more so your phone and more essentials would fit? Let me know about that. You can comment down below. Same exact made color and material of green top skin leather and gold tone hardware. They're both made in Italy. The straps are the same with 22 inches drop length. Let's take a look inside. Two zipper closure the label is under the lid on the small size and for the mini size it's right here on the back side they both have a lipstick holder. Right here and there. The same burgundy textile lining. The only difference inside. The small one has a three credit card slots. And the mini size doesn't have the card slots. Here is the better look inside. Exactly the same. And if you're wondering about under the flap it has the starting material that is inserted between this 
lining and the leather that will prevent it from sagging over time. Because the pull is on this lid, I'm afraid that eventually this will sag because this is where you're pulling the weight of the bag. But as I can feel this, it's very sturdy. You cannot even bend this. The mini size is sturdier because I guess it's being small. And the longer one is sturdy too, but it has a little give. There it is. Some of you are concerned if it's too bulky. It will be because of the boxy shape, but it's not that bad because it's only three inches in depth. Some of the comments that I have on my video is like, if this is going to tilt when you're wearing them after opening the bag. Let me show you how it looks when you're wearing them. By the way, let's put some stuff in here. Phone. Another card case. My key clay. This is how it looks. So I'm wearing this as a shoulder carry and let's say I am at the store and I open my bag. This is how it looks. Your things doesn't fall out. And it's even more stable. So you get your wallet or your key clay. Okay. So not bad, right? There it is. What do you guys think? Let's do the mini vanity case. Same drop. This is how it looks when it's open. Your things are not falling. Let's close it. If you have to ask me, if I only have to keep one of these vanity cases, I would vote for the larger one. For only $200 difference, you get more for your money and you get more space. But of course, this is also a super duper cute piece that I don't know if they will still bring it back. That's my take on these two gorgeous pieces. What do you guys think? Which one would you get? Stay tuned for my mod shots.